Hello and welcome to Curtis Stage Tutorials. Today's tutorial is on selection tools in Photoshop. This is a beginning level Photoshop tutorial and we have a list right here of the things we're going to do. So we're going to talk about the difference in the selection tools. We're going to also talk about the magnetic lasso tool in particular and what uh, it can do. We're going to talk about issues making selections and what can you do after you've made a selection. And then I have a list of some shortcuts that we're going to use today. Command plus zooms you in. Command minus zooms you out. When you're zoomed in, you can use the space bar to move you around. So you click the space bar and you can drag your around in your image. Command D is deselect and Command T is transform. Remember, if you hold shift down, you'll constrain the aspect ratios and I'll show you that later. So I have an image here in Photoshop that we're going to get rid of the background here and isolate this wine bottle so that we could put it into a scene, let's say, and composite it with another image. We won't do that today, but we will take this white background out and I'll show you what you can do with this wine bottle. So the first thing we want to do, we want to look at is, we want to look over at our selection tools here on our tool panel. The selection tools are located towards the top of the tool panel. We've got the move tool up here. This moves our image around on the screen. We can't do anything right now while this layer is locked. So you can see if I unlock it over here and then I can move this around, then I can move the wine bottle around, but up oh, there's that pesky white background. You can see that behind the white background is a transparency. We'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to move this back. Uh, right here, this set of selection tools are the marquee tools, rectangular and elliptical are the most that I use. Uh, we won't be talking about those today, but it allows you to essentially make a selection that is either a square or a circle or what have you. The next set of tools down are my lasso tools. You can see that with the lasso tool, I could freeform draw a selection like that. You get your marching ants. Then I could also go to my polygonal lasso tool, which allows me to draw in polygonal shapes, connect it, and then I've got a selection like this. Now the one we're going to use is the, today is the magnetic lasso tool. We'll get back to that one in a second, but you can see that it has a little magnet on it. I also want to talk to you about, of course, the easy way to select the white around this bottle because there is a high contrast ratio here. This would be very easy. I could just use my magic wand here and I could select and look at how it nicely selects the, all the white around this bottle. We're not going to use that one. I want to show you a, a better selection tool in the long run. So we're going to use the magnetic lasso tool. If I hold this down, I can also see there's a quick selection tool as well, which is kind of like the magic wand tool. All right, so with this magnetic lasso tool, the goal here is going to be go around this wine bottle to select it. Uh, to do that, before I get started, I definitely want to add a new layer to my layers panel. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom of the layers panel and you can see that I can create a new layer down there and it's going to create a new right, transparent layer above this layer that I was on. Now I want this transparent layer to be below the wine bottle. That could be a layer where maybe I put a table or a French countryside or whatever, what have you, in there. I, I want that to be below it so I'm going to take my wine bottle layer and put it above that transparent layer. Now I'm ready to get rid of the white around this but to do it I'm going to select around the wine bottle. So what I want to do is I want to zoom in, command plus, that's our first keyboard shortcut that we need to know today. And this magnetic lasso tool is a little tricky to use. What you want to do, the goal is, is you're going to go around the bottle and it's pretty cool. If you click and make a point and then you start kind of drawing up the line, I'm not, I'm not pressing down on my mouse, I'm just kind of loosely, you can see it, it kind of has this little um, rope almost, but I'm kind of loosely putting my cursor along the edge and it's finding that edge. That's what this magnetic lasso tool does. It's pretty great. Now, I'm going to go all the way around this bottle, but here's where it can be problematic when you accidentally go off and, oops, this happens. If this is occurring, you want to hit delete on your keyboard and delete these little anchor points back until you get back to an anchor point that was a good one. You can see I kind of rewind my mouse back as well. So again, if it gets out of control like this, then you just delete, delete, delete on your keyboard until you get back to a good spot. If it gets way out of control like this, I don't know how it would, but let's say it gets way out of control and you can't get out of this, 
just double click and you'll get marching ants. You'll get a selection tool, but I don't want these obviously. So I'm going to Command D, that's deselect. So Command D deselects our selection and I'm going to start again. So if you get way out of control, you sometimes have to start again. Now I'm going to zoom out, Command minus. I don't need to be super detailed on this. I'm going to go around this wine bottle. You'll see I'm kind of traveling up the side. I'm going around here. I'm going around the top. And I'm going to make my way essentially all the way around. I have another tutorial which talks about making selections and using a mask to fine tune your edits. And that's in another tutorial that you can check out on my site. So if I get all the way around, you can see I'm not perfect around this wine bottle, but just to kind of make this tutorial go quicker, uh, I'm going around this wine bottle and you can see that I've got a selection here. Now if I hit delete on my keyboard, I'm getting rid of the wine bottle. I don't want that. So command Z is undo, command Z, or if I'm on a PC, it'd be control Z. Anytime you hear the word command on a Mac for keyboard shortcuts, replace that with control if you're on a Windows machine. Okay, so I want to get rid of the white, so I'm going to have to inverse this selection. So there is a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to show you also where to get this from. If I go up to the top bar up here to select, and then inverse, so Shift-Command-I or Shift-Control-I on a, on a Windows machine, I'm going to go like this. And you'll see now marching ants are not just around my bottle, but they're also around the edge of my screen here. And so now I can click Delete on my keyboard, and it will get rid of the white background. I'm left with this checkerboard here. I'm going to switch to my move tool away from my magnetic lasso tool. I'm going to switch to my move tool by clicking right up here on the toolbar or V on my keyboard would get me there. Now with the move tool I can move this around. You can see I can move my wand bottle around. I still have a little bit of white left over. Command D deselect and I'm going to actually use my marquee tool to get rid of any remnants if I had it because I had moved this earlier. So see how I use the marquee tool I drew a rectangle right up there and then I hit delete. And then I can use that marquee selection tool again, command D, deselect. So then I can use it down here and get this section as well right there. So, so then I just hit delete on my keyboard and I've got that. So now what I want to do is I have got this now. So command D, deselect. I don't want to have any marching ants on when I'm moving the bottle around. So now I've got this bottle. It's all by itself. I could composite things on layer one down below here. Like I said, I could put the table on this and whatever. Short of doing that, I'm going to show you a couple more things. How about the transform tool? So the transform tool will let me size this bottle up and down. So command T on my keyboard or control T is the shortcut and I can size this bottle down. Now this command T is a free transform. So that means that if I just kind of take one of these corners and uh oh, now I'm getting a barbecue sauce bottle or a ketchup bottle. I don't want that. So Essentially, Command T is a free transform. What I want to do is I want to hold Shift down to maintain the aspect ratio. The aspect ratio is the relationship between the height and the width. So if I hold Shift down while I'm sizing it, then I can get a sized image that maintains or constrains its proportion and keeps the aspect ratio the same, the proportions the same. So I want to do that. There's a smaller wine bottle. I hit the check mark up here on the top or return on my keyboard to apply that transform. If I want to make a copy of this wine bottle, that's pretty easy. I just hover my mouse over the top of the wine bottle, hold down Option on my keyboard, and drag. And look at how it makes a copy of that wine bottle. And over my Layers panel, I can see that I have a copy right here. So that's pretty cool too. Again, Option, click, and drag, and you make a copy. Now the other thing that, that Transform can do is, if I do Command-T again on one of these wine bottle layers, uh, I can also rotate this wine bottle with the Transform as well. So that's pretty nice. If I you know, want to rotate a thing around, then that will work. If I don't want to apply the transform, you can see here's apply transform, and that would also be return on your keyboard. Here's don't apply transform or escape on your keyboard. So I can do that. Um, what's great about this is these layers now, I can stack up things on, on my screen, and I can visually make it feel like things are in front of other things like this. Of course, like I said, we could pull an image off the internet of the French countryside with a table right here, and we'd be able to put that in there behind that and composite these images over the top of another image, and that's what, where the power of Photoshop lies. Okay, so basically we talked about the differences in the selection tools, and, and, and specifically using the magnetic lasso tool in this tutorial. 
And then issues making selections with the magnetic lasso tool, of course, your selection could get out of control with that magnetic lasso tool, so you got to be careful with that. You basically, if you start doing like this, again, you just kind of hit delete, 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 delete back, and you can kind of go back to the start or wherever you have a good uh, anchor point for that selection. And then after you've made a selection, what are some of the things you can do? We talked about the transform tool and where we can size this bottle up and rotate this bottle. And then the last thing that we want to look at is these are our keyboard shortcuts. Command plus zooms us in. Command minus zooms us out. The space bar will move us around. Command D is deselect and Command T transform. Right? If I Command plus zooms me way in, space bar, I'll get this little hand and I can move around on the image like that. Right, like this. And if I have a selection, I'll just make a quick selection with my marquee tool. If I have a selection, these marching ants, Command D deselects those. So very good. All right, well, that has been another Curtis Stage video tutorial. Basics on selection tools, specifically the magnetic lasso tool in Photoshop. All right, thank you, and we'll talk to you soon.